Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that's Diane's Decorating and More. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare my chicken and dumplings here in the home. So sit back and relax and hopefully that you will enjoy the video. Okay, and share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, let's get started. Alrighty, so what we've already done so far is we've taken our rotisserie chicken that we had purchased um, at one of the local stores and I've stripped all of that off of the bones. And so what we're gonna be doing is taking that and putting it into the uh, pot here and we're going to kind of uh, give it like a, a brown uh, texture and color. We're gonna saute that in a little bit of the butter. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off doing that first. And then we're gonna to proceed to uh, add in some of the vegetables and some of these seasonings as well. Alrighty. Alrighty, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get started on this chicken and dumplings, guys. Okay, so now it looks like our chicken here has sauteed in the butter for the time that I wanted it to. And it smells very, very good, so I'm happy with that part too. start adding in our chicken broth. It's one cup. Two. three okay and that's four so you have four cups of chicken broth okay. and we'll stir that in So now we're going to go ahead and start adding in the garlic and the celery. This will be pretty much boiled inside of the broth and the chicken itself. And then I will remove the um, 
whole of the celery and the garlic as well because we don't need that in there we just want the flavors to be soaked into the chicken broth alrighty okay I'm gonna go ahead and add a touch of salt some black pepper cilantro some basil and this is dried basil there was the garlic there Paprika. And that is your complete. And that's your onion powder. And one teaspoon. your chicken bouillon. We're just going to stir that in. It smells good. All right. So now guys, we're going to let this simmer on a low fire till all of this combines and all the flavors of the herbs and um, celery and garlic saturate into the um, broth itself and then we're going to come back I'll come back and show you exactly where we are all right okay guys I wanted to come back and show you exactly how I prepare the dumpling portion um, for the chicken and dumplings while the chicken is preparing in our Dutch oven here on the stove. Alrighty, so basically you're just going to use some self-rising flour. If you're making a big batch, you can use three cups of flour. If you um, want less than that, then I would suggest maybe two cups of self-rising flour. Alrighty, so that way everything is already in there uh, for you. Alrighty. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and put in some of our Crisco. Alrighty. And then you're just going to mix that in. We'll see how much of that we need first. Alright. One scoop usually does the trick really when you're making this. We're going to go ahead and put an additional spoon in there. All right. Okay. And we're going to be mixing this with milk. All right. So that way it'll already have its liquid ingredient also. And you don't have to let the milk be at room temperature. It's good if it's cold. All right. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. You go ahead and start mixing in um, the flour and the Crisco into the mix here. All right. And just keep crushing it and crushing it until you get it to combine into the flour. 
and you can adjust it as you go through here. If you need more Crisco, you add more Crisco. All right. All right, because it's going to have that little, um, what I should say, flaky consistency once you get through mixing and in the Crisco into the flour here. All right. Looks pretty good there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. As I was telling you before, this is what it should look like. Okay. Now you're ready to start adding in milk a little at a time. You can use regular milk or you can use buttermilk, whichever you prefer. And you just want to put enough in there to form a ball that you can roll it out. So now that we have our ball formed here, we're going to go ahead and take this out. Just gonna sprinkle a little flour here. You have to roll it out to the surface here. Not a lot, just a little something there. All right? We're just basically gonna press this out with our roller until it's about about yay so. <laughs> yay so okay till it's about a full circle or a full rectangle okay and i'll come back and show you exactly how we do that all right that looks thin enough for me So then we're going to go ahead and section it off into strips. And if you have a, as they say, a pizza cutter, you can also use a pizza cutter for this. All right, so that's pretty much it. And then once your dumplings are, your chicken and broth has reached the consistency of what you want in your pot, you're gonna go ahead and drop these in there, okay? And I'll come back and show you exactly how we do that portion also. So stay tuned. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove, as I said before, the green parts, which is the celery. And we're gonna also extract the bones out of the broth along with our garlic cloves as well. Alrighty. And then we're going to continue doing that and we'll be right back to add in the dumplings.
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add in our dumplings. And I may or may not use all of these. I may reserve some for later. It all depends. It's not a lot of broth, actually. It looks like it's a lot because it's in a big pot. This is going to be very, very good. I can tell. The broth tastes excellent. I did a ta uh, taste test. And I can tell you guys. The flavor. Oh my word. It is absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Alright. So let's see how many of those dumplings are already in there. Alright. That is quite a bit. We're going to cut this on a low fire guys and we're going to allow it to simmer done and we're going to come back once these are cooked real tender inside of the broth and i'll show you exactly what that looks like as well all righty so stay tuned okay guys we're back and our dumplings are tender as you can see here to the point that they are ready to be eaten so everything else is just pretty much combined and cooked into the pot here so our dumpling guys are done chicken and dumplings are done alrighty I just wanted to show you that and come back and let you see the final results of the chicken and dumpling so we're going to be serving this up uh, shortly, and I wanted to say thank you once again for joining me here on the channel, and that's Diane's Decorating and More. I uh, truly appreciate you guys sticking out with me here as we prepare this dinner of uh, chicken and dumplings. Alrighty, so hopefully you have been able to glean some tips or uh you know, enjoyed the video and how I've prepared this meal here in our home. Okay, guys, so that's the end of another video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today and joining me here as we prepare this lovely meal, our chicken and dumplings, guys, in the home here on today. So do remember, okay, to share, like, and subscribe to the channel so you'll know exactly what else like this this right here is added to the channel for you guys. Alrighty? You guys go out and have a great one. And we'll see you in the next video. Alright. Bye-bye.